Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. In our previous video of molecular docking studies, we performed molecular docking in 2008 and 2019 version. Today, we will discuss that how we can analyze our result. So, in this video, we will study to how we can analyze in 2008 version and what are the different options available in this version. And in my next video, I will show you that how we can analyze results in 2019 version. So after docking studies, this panel will be open and it shows results of our compounds which have been docked inside the active site of an enzyme. Here we have compound name and the sequence of the compound. It is this is compound number one and from here it is compound number two we have only selected final 10 poses so for each compound 10 poses have been retained and this is the energy values in kilocalories per mole these are the binding energies like here and our compounds best energy is it is in descending order like minus 6.83 minus 6.52 and it decreases down so similarly here for compound 10a it starts from here the the best energy are, is the minus 6.83 and then it is descending now and here are some other factors e configuration and e place and e score one here are e score one and refinement and so on but uh, in our most of our cases we have only concerned with this value so this value is important and it shows that how much our compound interacts with the active site of an enzyme. So after this, how we will analyze in 2D and 3D interactions. So we have to go file browser. So here we open our browser where we will select our compound and interactions. From here we will go to compute. And here we will open ligand target interaction. Now this will show us a ligand target interaction. This is our ligand compound which is co-crystallized inside the active site of an enzyme in 2D format. Now we will select our compounds. So we will go to browser atoms. From browser atoms, we will go to our compounds and here apply. So this is our first compound 9a with first pose and it shows the 2d interaction of our compound inside the active site here residues are present amino acid residues and uh, different type of interactions are shown here like hydrogen burning in green line and uh, metal interaction here with zinc which is present inside the active site of carbonic anhydrase 2 and uh, here is uh, all the parameters are given here like acidic amino acids basic amino acids are colored in blue circles and greasy proximity and proximity contour this is proximity contour for 2d interaction and uh, here ligand exposure to the solvent and receptor exposure to the solvent is shown here in this color in blue color okay so how we can uh, make a pose or we can make changes so we will go to ligand and from here we can select diagram options and we can remove this exposure to the solvent ligand exposure or receptor receptor exposure so we can remove here we can also remove proximity contour but no need of this so after applying now it will be more clear and uh, solvent exposure is removed from rendering option we can use residue size let's suppose here residue size is 1.5 we can enlarge it like here i'm going to make it to apply now these residues will be shown in larger size we can rotate our compound at 90 degree or 180 degree or we can select here and uh, some other parameters are here like hydrogen bond minimum score and ionic bond and solvent <coughs> so in this way we can 
choose our ligand target and direction from here from browser atom we can move to other poses like here i am going to pose number four and apply this is our pose number four then five six seven eight nine ten and after this our comp second compound here it is 10a so 10a will be shown here now now this is our second compound and we can move further here and it is from move to the first one and here from here we can move to the last one so in this way we can select our pose and we can export our 2d file from here export we will go to png or we can select gif or jpg format and from here we can make it maximum resolution and uh, background white background we can choose white background and okay this way we can select and here we will write our name of our file like some like here compound five four or so on so here we can select our compound and browse we can select folder where we want to save this file okay and uh, after this how we can go to 3d 3d poses so we can also select we can isolate this after isolation it will be like this now this is our 3d pose and interaction interacting residues these are the residues which are going to interact with this compound and here is our ligand so we can show our hide so we, we have different options we can we can hide hydrogens already hidden hydrogens we can show hydrogens we can hide hydrogen bond we can also make a surface like here i'm going to show surface so here is our ligand so now ligand is you can show surface of the ligands and uh, we can also remove distances or angles or we can measure angle or distance from different bonds so here i am going to so we can we can measure these distances from this one measure distance so on and uh, we can also select our ligand so selection select our ligand and we can make it ball and stick model line model space filling and so on now here is our ligand in space filling fashion and we can also select active site and here now we have selected the active site which contains the interacting residues and the ligand so in this way we can choose our 3d pose and we can also save this pose we can we have different other options as well and now from here i'm going to make it space filling and we can save it file save from here we will select our file format so file file format try pause mold to we will select we can also select some other files like pdb so we can save it in pdb try pause mold to or moe file so it depends that how uh, in which software you are going to use it this file now i i i am usually use this tripos mold to file and after this 